Yeah. The water comes in here, and this is called the aeration basin. What it does is, is it goes in here, and there's a big pipe, about a 36 inch pipe, that goes down and then comes up, and then comes up through the center in there. What this does, this is 16 foot deep. Wow. So it comes in the heater, goes over into there, where the solids are dispersed, the solids settle to the bottom of that. You've got that circulating, there's a rake on the bottom. Uh -huh. It's moving that stuff all the way around. So that's all the raw sewage. Yeah. This is raw sewage coming out. That's coming straight out of the toilet. Straight out of the toilet? Yep, toilet, shower. But it doesn't smell. Look, raw sewage is 99.9% water. You know, you're, you're thinking, you know, you ought to see some big floating turds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is the actual treatment there is bacteria and enzymes in here that eat uh, residential waste. You know, all your, your they, fecal they, batter. They your, feed on that. Right. Okay. And this is constantly kept alive. So that's a natural it's breakdown kept, process. Yeah, it's an aerobic bacteria. So aerobic means it needs oxygen to survive. And anaerobic, which what you would have in the old diet uh, septic system. Yeah. You know, now they have the new septic systems. It's got the sprinklers or right. something. Well, they call that an aerobic system. And then the old ones that you didn't have to do anything with, that was anaerobic. So that water comes into there. You've got that. Uh, uh, it goes into here. The solids go to the top of that, and they sink down. But when they sink down, this airlift picks it up, and those are the solids that are picked up on the bottom. That is feeding that this bacteria. It's just a constant, constant motion. Now, as the solids drop out here, that water goes over the outs, out parts of that, and that's clear water. That gets pumped, that gets sent over to there. And all that is is a lift station right there. Uh -huh. That picks it up and sends it over into here. Now, remember the, the color of that water. Yeah. So after it, it goes through that, and that's called a clarifier. When these pumps kick on, all the water will be pouring out through here. And this is clean water? Well, this is semi-treated water. Semi-treated water. Yeah. So what it does is when these pumps kick on, when that pump kicks on, it goes through there, and the clear water after the solids have been dropped out, semi-dropped out, they go over to here. Well, it comes through on the other side of this. These are big, uh, what they call a bioreactor. They're old, old school treatment system. Look at that. So what, you what's can see where the water level, that's just the filter media where bacteria sticks to that. And as this goes around, as the, the water comes through, it pumps through that through there, and then it pumps through here. You can see where the water level, so this is always what, what, but what are all Those these? Those are Tampax, tampons. Really? Yeah. They're non-organic, so they How? just... How, how, old, how old is this? How long has this been in this filter? Oh, uh, 10, maybe 15, 20 years. I mean, those are, they're one of the big problems that's causing wastewater plants so much problems. <laughs> Tampax, and then they make all these baby wipes and stuff that are, are not biodegradable. So they get into the sewer lines and they don't degrade. And they get in the sewer plants and they cause a lot of problems. So this filter's 20 years old? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and you, there's, there's identical ones. You never have to do anything with this. This just goes around real slow and goes around. This is for, uh, we had an ammonia problem out here. So uh -huh. this is to control. The state sets up parameters on what you got to follow as a permit. For every wastewater that plant that's done, the state determines, you know, what you're allowed to discharge. How many, how many solids, what your ammonia limit can be, your BOD, which is biological oxygen demand, uh -huh. and all that. So they set up all these different parameters to every plant. It just uh, really depends. How many do you think are in here? Thousands of, of those yeah. temp? Or? Well, there's not so much. They're mostly on the outside. They uh -huh. can't really migrate their way inside. And if you look in there, you can see how. Oh, look at that! Are. Wow. Wow, that is wow. And this turns 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, never stop. Wow. Why did That's why did the water start? Water that was coming out of there. Why did the water start coming out now? Because that, those pumps kicked on. So you see the the center light. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. That light's on there, telling me that that pump kicked on. 
whatever the pumps down below kick on and go through here, it goes through there and it goes over to there where there's a float system in here. When that gets full, that kicks on, that sends it through here. From here, it gravitates over to this. Now this is deep. This thing is huge. This is called a final or a secondary clarifier. How deep is that? That's uh, probably 20 feet deep. Wow. So what it does is it goes into there. It's basically the same as there, but it's already gone through partial treatment. So that's cleaner water? Yeah, that water's already been through the... Uh, no solid waste in there? Correct. Or very little. Or very little. And what it's doing is it's settling out even more. Now it's allowed to settle out into there. But then it comes into here and settles out completely. And then the clear water comes over the weirs. See, that's already that old nasty water that we just looked at. That's yeah. what it's now. It comes over in the here. And this is a contact chamber. This is where it's uh, mixed with chlorine. And the chlorine comes in it. The chlorine is the international uh, choice of disinfection. Yeah, that's wow. what they use. You use either chlorine or UV. And no but smell again, nothing. Right. So this and water it just goes through here. It has a 20-minute contact time, which that chlorine has to be in contact at a certain residual, a certain strength. We've got that all. I balanced. could smell the chlorine yeah, a little bit. It goes through here, it goes through here, and then when it goes over the river, it goes up and over. But I also have a float system, that pump there is what sends it over to the golf course ponds. Oh, okay. See, and it's running right now. So this is what uh, uh, irrigates all the landscaping. Yeah. And goes to the river. When we have a real high flow and it, it out, out, uh, outflows the uh, golf course pump, then it'll be going to the golf course, plus it'll be discharging over here, and that'll go out to the river. So this never makes it back to any residents? No. Strictly, yeah. strictly, strictly for landscape right. irrigation. Yeah. Wow. Now that's going to change. They're going to start. They're already doing that in a lot of towns in Texas. Is they're reusing uh, wastewater yeah. or potable water. They do that. Wastewater is called non-potable. Yeah. And drinking water is called potable water. And so what they're doing now is they're just blending. Now granted, that the treatment process has got to be a little bit more complex than what I'm doing here. Yeah. Because I'm just discharging this back into the river. Right. Whereas, you know, a lot of those places are taking it and sending it to the house for drinking water. Which people are like, ooh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the water here in Texas, there is no first time virgin water. It's all been reused. Right. Even though it might have gone through the the, the process, the re repercolation process of going through the ground and back into the aquifer. Yeah. All the water has already been reused. Is that ever spin faster? No, it's always that. That, 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 that slow? Thing. Yeah, you wow. got to sweep on the top. It takes any of the floating crud and uh, circles it around and then it'll pick it up and there's a sweep on the bottom. There's a, a blanket of, of uh, caca like that that sits on the bottom. And wow. what it's doing is it's aging and the bacteria down there is growing and then the bacteria is pumped into here where now it's, it's eating all this stuff it's been activated right wow why does that shoot out in spurts that white pipe that is this nasty water yeah is that that is what's to that so that final clarifier it's discharge is right here but it's doing such an efficient job that's coming off the bottom of that one. Oh. Whereas this one's coming off the bottom of this one. So wow. as you can see, it cleans it up pretty good and I'm not getting hardly anything. Wow. I can't believe this is raw sewage right yep. right here. And you, there's no fucking smell, no nothing. Smell. But like I said, in this year, you know, it comes in the district. This is our, our blower room and our pump room. Uh, we got to have blowers to provide oxygen. Yeah. We have a sewer pump. Look at that. Where the water comes in through the district, 
both of these pumps. And right, up, right next to here, there's another pit identical to this one right next door. How deep is that? Uh, that's about 22 feet. That's more than that. And you can see how the lines go into the wall? Yeah. On the three pumps, look at the suction line. Wow. So, pump to kick on and a third pump to kick on. And that what I just showed you is called the dry well. This little manhole is the wet well. And it's the same thing as that room, but it's got water and no pumps into it. Wow. Kind of got us. And that's that's as deep as, as that other one. That's one that, that's got a little yeah. bit of odor to it. Yeah, because this is untreated flood coming in. Yeah, that's untreated that... moist water. So it comes into here, those pumps pick it up, send it into here, and then this box splits it. That's called the splitter box. It sends half the flow to this plant, half the flow to that plant. Wow, wow, wow. And this is 24 hours a day, 365. Never stop. Uh, Never stop. One of the most secure jobs you can have as far as uh, is always going to be needed. Well, this is a great tour. And then you gotta, uh, of course, you know, you gotta be licensed through the state of Texas. Yeah. Today. A hundred and how many? Uh, okay. I, I my average is just say four hundred thousand. A day. A day, yeah. Versus and the, the big city, city of Houston could be uh, their plant. It's just depending. Every plant is built different sizes, but I'd say the average plant city of Houston is probably treating twenty-five million gallons a day. A day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. A huge wow. Amount of water. Wow. Nobody would ever they take this for granted. Exactly. Nobody, nobody nobody knows. Nobody realizes. And then you know, there's always the, Yeah. I mean you got like New York City, their whole uh, water and sewer water are all underneath the city. And they're ancient. Right. I mean, they've been there since the eighteen right. hundreds. Right. And it's all the infrastructure, the, the pipes and stuff is all old time it's all old technology time. and stuff, and it's just all yeah. down the fire. And almost every city in America is running into this problem right. because they haven't kept up with it. That's right. So now it's just a, an expensive, uh, what 20 years ago would have cost them, you know, hypothetically $20, $20 million, will now cost them $120 million. Yeah. Is there ever a need to go in there for repairs? Sure. Yeah. Who does that? Eventually, we have a, a, a company that'll come out here with a big vacuum truck and it'll suck stuff out. Well, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. Who would have thought? This is mostly plastic. Well, no, these are rags. These are just these are rags. rags. But they're the heavy duty rags that the manufacturers have built to withstand anything. You know, they're great when you're cleaning up a mess in the house. Right. But then when you dispose of them, instead of throwing them into the trash, you're flushing them down the toilet. And they don't break down. Wow. They all take a lot longer. It takes, they get in the system three months before they even start getting some of the stuff that I, I pull out of here that people flush down their toilet. <laughs> and how in the heck did that go down? I get t shirts and underwear. And Purse out before, and wow. uh, I don't know how many frogs I've rescued. Frogs. They've gone through the system, gone through the pumps, and came through, gone through here. And they're alive? Gone through here, and then I found them swimming in there. Wow. They lived, yeah. Wow. But now we're, we're changing out our pumps into what they call chopper pumps. It chops everything up. Grind them so up. So my, uh, my frog rescue, I probably rescued. In the years, you know, a couple, two or three dozen. I got a, wow. I've got a net that wow. I always pull out. I have snakes, or sometimes the snakes will come up here and just be slithering along and jump in. But once they get in there, this is so uh, absorbed with oxygen. Like if you were to jump in there, you would go right to the bottom because there's more oxygen in the water than there is in your body. So the weight would turn you down. Now you would come right back up. But the first thing it would do is it would take you all take the way Take you down. back down. Wow. And then, of course, you know. You won't make it. Well, you might make it. It just depends on, uh, you know, did you keep your mouth shut while you were oh, there? Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> wow. You know, I am just amazed at the at the, the lack of foul smell. It, it 
it doesn't smell like I tell you I've been in bathrooms that smell worse than this <laughs> but this is but maybe that's a testament to a clean running smooth running system exactly it is and 